Hey guys, uh, Blizzard just announced a balance update, um, and some of the changes are pretty big. Um, so they have some buffs and some nerfs. Uh, one of the buffs is Aldor Attendant. Uh, this is the Reduce Your Librams. Now a one cost one three. I think this add one is actually one of the is huge. I think people don't realize how nice having a one drop. Uh, two drops tend to be bad for Paladin because it conflicts with their hero power. Now as a Paladin, you can put Aldor Attendant on one. You can do the two mana. Um, you can play. Um, the uh, I think hand of Aldor, uh, the gain plus two, plus two for a minion draw of a card or hand of a doll, um, and you could just spiral with that, and you can use that to sort of control the board and spiral the victory. Um, I think it's a, it's a lot makes pure paladin so much better with the sort of the pure leave of control builds. Um, this torrent, I, I I don't yeah I think this card was. Dealing lots of damage to a minion is just kind of compare this to like Shadow Word Death. Like, why would you know? And I guess okay, you can get it for one if you played a spell last turn. But uh, Shaman is a class that already struggles for reasons. I don't see this card being impactful. Um, I mean, this is another one where I'm like, okay, the the additional attack isn't that useful. If this if you're playing this deck, chances are your control deck. So I I don't think this one will be impactful at all. But this one, the uh, this lurker below. Is getting a buff uh, two additional health this is actually very big um, the two additional health um, will matter um, so you know if there's a control -y or you know even a tempo -y shaman I, I could see this card fitting into a lot of shaman decks this this can be very powerful the fact that you could potentially you know swing a whole board while developing a 6-5 is huge so um, I expect this to see play uh, if not this expansion definitely uh, in the next year or two uh, this seems like a very strong card now. Reese's the Fury getting nerfed to only have five health. This is very big. Uh, you know, just making it a lot easier to kill because part of the power of Priest of the Fury is not just the six initial damage, but the fact that often you can't kill it, um, and now it's very easy to kill, um, or at least much easier. So it's it's a thing of um, now it's a lot. You have to work a lot harder to protect it. Um, so this is a, is much uh, weaker. Crimson Sigil Runner. Now it's a one uh, attack, one health. This is actually huge. Um, you know, making it not to attack. It can't trade into things as well. It is not as impactful. Uh, you know, I could see this card completely stop seeing play. It's just, now it's just like, okay, I'm going, you know, putting this awkward card for a 1-1. One, one. I, though I do still think certain uh, Demon Hunter decks that are heavily based on cycle will probably run this. I don't see... Uh, you know, if, if you know a combo demon hunter comes back because they're already running uh, novice engineer, they will probably run this card. But you know, I doubt tempo demon hunter will run this card anymore. Scavenger ingenuity, draw a beast, give it plus two plus two. This is a very big nerf. Uh, you know, but I think it's good. I was, you know, the, the I think you know if you compare it to Call of Adventure, I think the Paladin card or draw the lowest card of your deck, give it plus two plus two for three mana. Uh, you know, I could still see the seeing play, but it's not going to be. It's not a draw gain tempo. It's it's a draw, um, but kind of maintain the mana tempo. So it's it's still you know not bad, but uh, you know I I there has to be a more additional benefit. You know, a powerful tutor effect. So uh, shall Drew Hanar uh, reduce the four to health? Uh, a must need to change. Like the five health is so annoying. Uh, this is, I think, the same kind of effect with uh, when Miscreant was 5 health. Lowering to 4 health just makes it a lot easier for things to kill. There's a lot of things that deal 4 damage. Uh, you know, things like True Silver. Uh, it just, it's easier to kill. Um, so it's not the, the how am I going to kill this 1-5. It's a lot, you know, easier to deal with. And, you know, uh, so that makes a difference. Blackjack Stunner. Uh, control Secret. Return a minion to its owner hand. It costs one more. I'd like to make it so it also says can't be reduced more than ten mana because I think it's you know when they they put a ten at least now Alex Straza because you know it's it's rough when you you're playing any big deck uh, you put this card in your hand and you can't even play it 
Uh, but I mean, this this is a much much needed nerf. I think um, this is a card that um, it really is. You know, there's certain cards that sort of crowd out other strategies. Um, if you're uh, playing a, a deck that uses big things, big taunts, you know, the fact that you can use this on what was supposed to be untargetable, the uh, the big cat for Druid what was the name um, of it real quick. It is for Winged Guardian. You know, that's supposed to be untargetable. Okay, but then you could play Blackjack Stunner uh, and just Put it back in your hand and uh you know the, the, it, this card is insanely strong even the, the fact that it's a battle card actually is better than Vegas is sap so um you know i could see this card still being nerfed again eventually uh you know this card's so strong um but you know the weakness of it is the secret so uh you know having that condition but it's still incredibly strong and very tough to deal with uh in prison scrap it uh give you all your minions two plus two plus one uh you know this is this actually is a very big nerf because now you know it used to be okay you, you get this down you play a bunch of stuff and often there's just no way you know if you're doing risky skipper you didn't have enough uh you know fully nova like there's just there's no answer often to these boards but now there is it, it's going to just be slightly easier to kill still the same offensive capability but less easier for it to remove so um, i think this card would probably become a problem card in the long run so it's probably good that this is getting nerfed uh blood bullet brute uh, attacking reduce the five attack. This is such a small nerf. Um, I see this as very, you know, almost not impactful at all. Especially now that Freezes of Furious has five health. Well, now you know Boil Blood Brute's most important target. Uh, it clean clears cleanly. So if anything, you know, uh, I don't expect this to matter at all. Um, you know, sl you know, this is a, a two percent decrease. This isn't anything substantial. Blood Bowl Sworn Mercenary. This is a big nerf. Uh, I think, you know, being reduced to attack to health uh, makes it a much weaker early game tempo play. Um, you know, the fact that you know, if you, you know, previously you could just do it on an injured Tolver often. Uh, you know, something that just at the very least get very efficient stats. And now, you know, there's there's you still have the same high rolly potential, but the low roll is a lot worse. Um, so it's it's uh this card will be uh, significant. You know, but you might have decks go back to, to not using this card um, uh, and using, uh, you know, the more control variants because this is one of the most powerful thing about the Enraged style of that, you know, you can do an array, uh, a, a Rampage and then go a Coin Bloodsworn and all of a sudden you've increased your stats on board by, you know, 300% for, for, for five mana. So uh, th this card, this is probably the right nerf. I'm glad they didn't nerf it to four mana the card would probably be unplayable uh but at three mana uh you know I, this card will definitely still see play but how much play that's the question so kind of what i think about the nerfs um i think uh, i think there's a real danger i'm surprised they didn't nerf warm all challenger um i thought that card's kind of been pretty dominant but uh you know they might be thinking oh uh, but i think they're thinking okay with bloodstorm mercenary a little bit weaker the 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 low roll is a lot worse for when uh, the warrior doesn't get their big copies off. Um, but yeah, I expect, so Demon Hunter is gonna be, uh, I think, you know, significantly weaker though. There already are builds that don't run Priestess of the Fury. Um, Crimson Sigil Runner is a big nerf, uh, but I think Demon Hunter is definitely gonna be not as strong. I think Pure Paladin could make a comeback. Uh, not only this, uh, you know, the fact that Demon Hunter is getting weaker, but um, and then, uh, you know, Blackjack Stunner is getting weaker. So maybe if you build, move away from the Blackjack Stunner uh, to, you, to and then the secret variant to play the, the stealth variant, um, that could be very good for pure Paladin, uh, which hates having cards put in their hand. And so I, I could see Paladin making a comeback. Um, I think Warrior will be still on top, if not more on top. Um, Though nerfing Demon Hunter often, interestingly enough, sometimes these these changes can be bad for Warrior because Demon Hunter is such a good matchup, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, Warrior gets slightly worse, and all of a sudden there's a lot more things competing. So, uh, you know, I think Warrior for sure going to be the best deck, but the real question is how much of the best deck it will be. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I think about the nerfs. Um, yeah, be on the rise for Paladin. Uh, I think Warlock's going to really take a hit. Uh, uh warlock is actually probably one of the 
the low key biggest nerfs. Like, uh, it's Prison Scrap Imp and Warlock's already struggling right now with the nerf to Sacrificial Pack. Uh, and you know, Fiendish Rites or you know, for Galakrond Warlock last expansion. Um, and now this, uh, you know, I could see Warlock having no viable archetypes, uh, which is sad. Uh, but I, I was hoping for you know, so but yeah, I think, um, the the demon all of the, the major power class has got a, at least a nerf warrior hunter rogue demon hunter they those are all the four strongest classes they all got a nerf um we'll see like i said if, if shaman or paladin can make a comeback like i said i think this buff is huge uh the making it one attack um and one three makes it a powerful turn one into turn two play so um i could you know if there's not this expansion this is going to be a very powerful... Librams are going to be very powerful eventually, in my opinion. Um, there might not be enough synergy. There might not be enough pure Paladin synergy right now. But, you know, it come in two expansions. If it's not now, uh, there'll be more, just more Paladin cards to access. Uh, so I think this is, this is something to be on the lookout for. Um, and yeah, that's my opinions on the nerf. So uh, uh, they come out May 18th. Uh, that is this Monday. So... Be on, you know. Uh, don't disenchant any of your 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 cards yet. Uh, the the cards below will be available to disenchant, but um, be ready for a slightly altered meta. Uh, you know, I think you're gonna see uh, warriors gonna be just fine. Rogues is gonna be just fine. Uh, hunters, you know, might move away from these scavengers ingenuity builds, but hunters are gonna be just fine, and demon hunters are gonna be just fine. All these classes will be fine, but we could see slight alterations in the meta. Maybe we see a counter, uh, just because things are slightly weaker to Warrior. I hope so. Um, I, I'm hoping Paladin be, might be the one to take it down, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I think about the balance updates. Um, I, once again, I was surprised Warmall Challenger did not get nerfed, uh, but yeah. Uh, so I hope you find that interesting, and yeah.